Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Smash the notification bell so that you don't miss upload every time I post the video. So we're coming through with some updates, okay? Um, so I wanted to give an SPLG update. You guys know that was one of the newest positions we added to the account for 2024. Um, I've talked about SPLG in the past. I made an SPLG versus VOO update. So that's kind of what this will be. Love both of them. Um, and we do have a majority of like VTI versus VOO, but I think VOO was a really good one. And that is the pick for our investing challenge. If you're a beginner, you're like, what is an investing challenge? I have a playlist talking about it. It's a challenge I created almost four years ago. We've been doing on the channel. Um, you all vote in a poll and whatever you all vote on, the majority will be the pick. We talk about how to research. We talk about how to make good um, choices when it comes to choosing solid, good stocks and funds, how to build your portfolio. So shout out to all of you who are on that journey with me um, for the quarter VOO was the pick. So February and March, make sure you guys make your transfers if you want to be a part of it. Um, as always, I'm not a financial advisor or guru. I'm an investor like you on this journey. I make videos. I show the steps. I show the account. I show realisticness. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping to motivate you to do the same. So, or ticker symbol SPLG. And what I like about this is that it really tracks just like VOO. They kind of mirror the same, the same thing. And this is just a side note. Vanguard, who is the producer of VOO, if you did not know, and State Street Global Advisors are literally, they were founded literally like three, four years apart. Okay. Um, both were founded in the seventies. Shout out to Jack Bogle. He is the founder of Vanguard. Oh, did you guys even know that Jack Bogle was the founder of Vanguard? But if you didn't, he was, and both of the investment firms or brokers are really solid and, you know, really have been like kind of easy flowing all these years. And I like the fact that SPLG, as I mentioned in my previous video, talking about it, um, that it's under the radar, <clears throat> excuse me guys. And a lot of people don't realize, you know, the reason why a lot of funds like VOO and et cetera are popular is because Vanguard, Vanguard is a very popular, well-known investment firm, very popular, right? Fidelity, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, um, they, they're really popular and well-known. And so of course, most people are going to invest with them, but there are a lot of other good funds that track the same thing that provides a dividend that gives the same type of return. I've mentioned in 2023, pretty much VOO and SPLG literally with the, maybe a percent were had the same amount of return, same growth. One is just, you know, much more expensive. It has a lot more people in it versus a, the, another one that, you know, is not as well known. And honestly, they both were founded, you know, in terms of created the funds were created within maybe a few years of each other, maybe three or so of each other. VOO was founded and then SPLG. So they both have been around for a good while. Again, but it's under the radar. SCHD was under the radar for the longest time. <laughs> Jeppy was under the radar for the longest time. And then of course, the more that people started to find out about these companies or, in, in, or funds, they started to invest in them. So I like that I can get into SPLG, I think at a really reasonable price. Again, I can't tell you what to buy, but I like the fact that it's based on growth. It's, it tracks the S&P 500 index, just like VOO does. Um, and so it's really crazy how it's now at $60. I mean, at the recording of this video, it is March 7th, but it's $60 and some change. I'll have a screenshot up on the screen. Um, so it's really, I'm glad we got in when we did just finding and recognizing good, solid ETFs that can grow. A lot of our, especially our taxable accounts, are dividend-based. So dividend-based companies and funds don't grow as much because you know, you're know you receiving income, um, dividend income. Uh, but I wanted to add something to these portfolios, the taxable ones, that will give us the growth factor, okay? While we are waiting to retire early, if that makes sense. So we have SPLG in two places now. Um, so we have SPLG and like I said, hold on, before I get to SPLG, cause I know I'll get this question. Yes, we have VTI. I think at the current state of this video, we have 130 shares. You'll see a screenshot. Um, when it comes to SCHD, I think 530 at the recording of this video, I do plan on buying more 
But, you know, between those two, I think it's like 70 plus thousand. The market has gone up again. Um, but when it comes to SPLG, it's just finding things. We're ready. To, you know, we are we're added this to our portfolio to give us growth. And it has been growing. I'm not even going to lie. Um, and I'm really am glad. I wish we would have found it sooner, but I'm glad we found it when we did. So in Robinhood, we have SPLG there. And the reason why we have it there is because SPL, that Robinhood portfolio is what we're going to touch first. So when we're ready to kind of step out <laughs> and achieve fire, Robinhood is the first account on the chopping block in terms of like starting to live on the dividends, if that makes sense. And you can see our value here in Robinhood is about $3,027. Average cost is about $58.77, and we have 50 shares here. Total return is 3.02 or $88 and some change. They do pay out a dividend and they pay out in March. So we really are trying to invest heavier the first half of the month because a lot of these ex-dividend dates start around the 15th for us. And so we want to make sure that we have you know the stuff invested before the ex-dividend date hit. So we can get these dividends in March. Um, now, coming over to, we added this to Interactive Brokers as well. So that this is going to be the second investment account taxable one that we will start to use during our fire years. So I hope that you guys see like a strategy here, right? I know we talk about investing order of operations, but this is really crafting something for our journey. Yes, we have the 401k, the Roths, and the HSA, but that's long-term future, right? That's 59 and up, but this can be used for now. So we have a hundred shares. So we, we got a hundred shares in this portfolio. So I'm really, I'm excited about that. Um, and this value is $6,052 and our average cost is $57 and 37 cents. So this was great catchiness when the market was red a few times. Um, was it last week or so? Not being scared, not being flustered, not worrying. This is a really solid ETF. And so it worked out. So we are up here $316.61 or a return of 5.52%, which I think is pretty darn awesome. Um, I think our short-term goal, I think I mentioned in a previous video with 100, well, because we achieved 100 shares and it's been performing pretty well. Like I said, it tracks the way VOO does. Um, I'm thinking we're going to bump that up to 200 shares. Just slow and steady. There's no need to say 1,000 right now. Just slowly kind of build up. 1,000 would be nice long term. But every you know step will make um, an adjustment to our goal. So you know both of these, well, it's not 10,000 yet invested in it, right? Let me just go back over to Robinhood. Three, almost. About 9,000 in some change um but you know just consistently investing I, and again i really do i have been liking this so far it hasn't been causing me any problems and i love that it's like voo's sibling right it's just you know one that's under the radar tracks the same way had the same return last year pays a dividend and you know i'm really glad that they're focused more on growth because again with all the dividend stocks and funds we have sometimes it can lack a little bit of growth so this is going to provide some of that and vti has been really just knocking it out the park i mean and it, schd hold on it's at like 70 almost 79 dollars <laughs> which is insane how many of you remember when it was like 60 dollars? it was really like falling the first half of last year and in 2022. But you know, if you believe in it, long term, it always works. I say, I know I sound like a broken record to you guys, but you know, I really like our investing style. I like our strategy. Is it for everyone? No. Um, but you know, these are our accounts. This is our money. And it's been it's been working. It's been working. And, you know, if you find a strategy that you like and you believe in and it's working, keep on going with it. Bite size, baby steps. You don't have to jump in head first with all of this, but be consistent with any goal. Budgeting, saving, you want to pay off debt, you want to invest more. Maybe you want to do a combination of all of them. Um, just take your time, but be consistent. That is the key. I, I, I think that's the biggest key is consistency. You got to get in the habit of doing these things. So that's the SPLG update. Um, I'm really, I'm excited. I did invest in VU for our February portion of the investing challenge, and I will add to it when March is over. But again, just consistently 
dollar cost averaging, not worrying about what's going on, not being scared out of the market because I don't know. But I also know that the companies that I'm invested in will most likely be around long term. And I want to make sure that we are on the right side of whatever is going on versus the wrong side. So again, leave me a comment down below. Do you Have you ever heard of SPLG? Um, do you invest in SPLG? Do you invest in um, VU? What do you love about it? Like, let's talk in the comments down below. I'll have a link to the website that I was using to talk about SPLG so that you can go to the actual website of the investment firm that you know created the fund and do some more research there. And I'll also have a link to Vanguard's website so you can kind of do some more research on VU as well. Again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Smash notification bell so that you don't miss the upload every time I post the video. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.